This video is presented by local realtor Mandy Gregg, a proud supporter of the Cambridge Red Hawks. Mandy is passionately committed to a personalized approach and providing exceptional service when helping you buy or sell your home. Contact Mandy at 226-755-0200 or visit mandygregg.com. Saturday night GOJHL action from the Galt Arena Gardens. The Cambridge Redhawks getting set to play host to the Air Centennials. This game, a little bit of everything involved in it. First period of it, and the visitors are going to strike first. Mitch Ferris just walks in and rips one. Top shelf. Ferris has his 13th of the season, and the Air Centennials are on the board just five minutes in. It's 1-0 Sens. Still in the first period, now shorthanded. Tyler Ward, a gift out front. He buries it. Ward's got his seventh of the season, and the Sens have a quick 2-0 lead. Still in the first frame, Air looking for more. They're going to find one on the power play. Daniel Berhowski parked out front. He pots it home. Berhowski makes it 3 0 sends, and that's where he would sit after 20 minutes of play. To the second period we go, and just 2 30 in. The Red Hawks gonna find one. Owen oh, Yager, a bomb from the point. Yager cuts the deficit to 3 1 as the Cambridge Red Hawks are on the board, and the Red Hawks would keep coming in the second period. Now Jack McDonald, he'll pot the loose puck at the side of the goal home. McDonald has his fourth on the campaign, and don't look anywhere. We have a one goal hockey game. It's 3 2 air, but Cambridge wasn't done yet. Now on the power play, Lucas Merrick out front. He buries it. Merrick has tied this game all up at three as Cambridge three unanswered to start the second period. It's a brand new hockey game at Galt. Then in a tie hockey game, things getting interesting as Jordan Sharon, a big hit along the boards. Jake Scuda says, not on my watch as they stare each other down and they'll drop him. Sharon getting a flurry of right hands in at Scuda, who's able to bounce back and get a couple in himself before they're finally separated along the Red Hawk bench. Things getting heated in Cambridge in a 3-3 hockey game. We're still in the second period and the Air Centennials looking for some momentum to the third. They'll find it. Ryan McKellar walks right in and rips it. Low blocker. McKellar has restored the lead for the Centennials. They're back on top. It's 4-3 air. That's where we would sit after 40. To the third frame we go. Sends keeping the offense coming. Austin Kelleher on the power play. He's got his 17th on the season. He's made it a 5-3 hockey game. Some big insurance for air, but they would get even more. Owen oh, Parsons has this puck bounce right to him. He taps it in. Parsons makes it a 6-3 hockey game as Owen Parsons has his 24th on the season. And then things getting rough again. Zach Lewis takes his man to the ice as Owen Yager gets ripped down from behind. Jack Darcy says, not on my watch. And the two of them dropped him in the corner. This game, a little bit of everything. Cambridge looking for some momentum as they're down six to three. But still in the third period, the Sens would answer again. Blair Krawchuk flying down on the wing, not gonna catch him. He rips home his 11th of the season. He makes it a 7-3 hockey game. But Cambridge would respond. Down in the zone, Rory Brown's gonna sit up top. He finds this puck, he'll let it rip from the point. It finds its way through to the back of the goal, and Brown has his first as a Red Hawk. He's made it a 7-4 hockey game. Red Hawks pulling the goalie with three minutes left in the third period. Ben Moldenhauer would bury the empty netter. He makes it 8-4. Cambridge, though, would find another one before the end of this game. Reed Gamage gets his 12th of the season, but too little too late for the Cambridge Red Hawks. The Air Centennials win an absolute barn burner in Cambridge as Nick Barker gets his first GOJHL win. The Sens take it 8-5 over the Red Hawks.